11 of 12 as we speak. You get ready for the Sunday game down at Purdue. A lot of factors involved, but if you could put your finger on one or two, that has been the difference here in this stretch. I think the maturity and the growth of this group, and it, it's been often talked about, and I brought it up as much as I've been asked about it, just our, how our chemistry has grown off the floor. And obviously it's very evident how things have improved on the floor, but there's definitely a cohesiveness that has grown immensely since mid-December, and I think really the, the credit really boils down to those guys. Obviously, the performance that they put out on the floor night in and night out, but also how they've grown and, and uh, learned together uh, as we've gone through the season. As you get ready for Purdue, you've touched on the, how your team has grown. What have you seen just looking at video of the Boilermakers from late December when you saw them the first time to where the Boilers are now? Better. You know, they're better. Obviously, Hammonds and Haas, you, the first two guys you think about. But I think really Dakota Mathias, in my mind, has really been a, a player that stepped up his game and obviously hit two big threes here against us late in the game that kind of solidified the final outcome for them. But uh, what I've watched so far from looking back from mid-February on, watching them as we come down the stretch here, They've gotten bigger contributions, much much like we have. We've had other guys step up, aside from Koenig and Hayes. They've also had other guys that have stepped to the forefront for them. That's the one thing when you look at a stat sheet with Purdue, the depth. They don't yeah. have anybody who plays 30. Now, the Big Ten, there's one. But otherwise, I mean, Matt, Matt Painter can go nine deep and be it seems pretty comfortable doing right, it. Right, and obviously with the two, two-headed two monsters, so to speak, <laughs> inside with rotating seven-footers in there, that's really a, a huge luxury. And then obviously the, the complimentary guys around them, Raphael Davis, uh, Kendall Stevens, the other guys that have helped out throughout the year have, have uh, really added to that group. You'll know the drill. If you win, you're in the top four double by going into the Big Ten tournament, but there's still a lot of scenarios that play out. I'm just going to answer a question for you here, but it's still about you guys, right? Take care of your business. They're smart. They know all the all the external noise going on right now, but just focus on every drill. So right, so we, forth. just how we've done it <laughs> since December 16th. It's one step at a time, one day at a time, and we'll play it out one game at a time. But for this group to rally how they have and grown, to continue this consecutive streak of fourth place finishes or better over the last 15 years, which is now a Big Ten record, mm -hmm. and to be able to win 12 games in this league and 20 overall really is a testament to how these guys have, have uh, you know, like I said, rallied and, and grown together uh, both on and off the court, and it's really a group to really be proud of.